I'm Deepa from StockyAndLivingCenter.com. And if you're tuning in, you are probably looking at ways to love yourself more. So how do you start loving yourself more? There are three keys that I have found that help you develop that love within yourself. One is heal your stuck emotions in your body and your mind. And they're probably wondering, how do I know if I have any stuck emotions in my body and my mind? Ask yourself this. Do I ever hear myself say, boy, were my buttons pushed? Or I was triggered. If you have said yes to any of those phrases, you know you have stuck emotions in your body. The other thing, how way you know if you have stuck emotions in your body is do you see yourself reacting more than responding? Every reaction you have rather than responding is a sign that you have stuck emotions in your body. Okay, the second key is to actually retrain your mind, your brain, your habits, physically and mentally. You think like, why do I need to retrain them? <laughs> because if you've spent like your whole life up to now not loving yourself, you know, not thinking you're good enough, because that's all a sign, not thinking you're good enough, saying words like, oh, that was stupid, or you know, thinking what you did wasn't very good, all that is not loving yourself. Okay? then your brain has created neural pathways that fire off when any kind of stimulus that happens that's similar to something that created that uh, feeling of not loving yourself. Most likely it happened when you were really young. So it's important that you start to retrain that and start to do behaviors and mental thoughts um, that are different. And create new neural pathways and develop them to be stronger and let the other ones start to you know, get weaker and die off. And the third one I talked about was God, experiencing God. Because experiencing God will, you know, give you um, more feelings of love, joy, peace, calmness, power. All that is God. And when you experience God, it awakens it in you, which helps you love yourself more. Okay? And you're probably going, okay, it's easy to say those three things. How do I actually do those three things in my life? And what I have found is one of the keys is yoga. Okay? Especially like if you have stuck emotions in your body, you can do yoga postures. Now when I talk about yoga, I mean much more than postures, but on the stuck emotions, I am going to talk a little bit about that right now. You can do yoga postures and they can help release any emotions that were not expressed in a healthy way, that have gotten stuck in your body, that have created you know, emotional wounds, all that stuck emotions. If you do yoga postures, it can help to start to release them. Okay, so you, you release them in a healthy way. And what I found, like if I did yoga in a class where there was a room full of people I didn't know, it was hard for me to actually express them in a healthy way. I'd feel them come up, but I wouldn't let them completely, you know, express and come out. So that's one of the reasons why I created SatyaLivingCenter.com was to help you have the privacy to do it in your own home and also at the convenience um, for when it works for you, when you have time, they actually take a little time to let those emotions come out and release them and express them in a healthy way. So you do postures and it actually helps them get released. It's, a, it's amazing. I, I know when it first happened to me, I was like shocked. Just like, wow, where'd that come from? But it, it, it was like a good feeling because it helped me feel lighter after they were released. Now the second thing about retraining your brain, the reason why it's so important is, you know, you can release the stuck emotions and if you keep having the same mental habits, the same, you know, mental behaviors and physical behaviors that show you don't love yourself or that your, your self-talk is poor, you create more stuck emotions. So you've got to stop putting more in you, you know, by retraining and creating a new way of being, those new neural pathways. Now, I'm going to give you a, uh, one way you can do it here, but if you want more methods of actually retraining your brain and mastering your energy and your mind, you can go to SatyaLiveringCenter.com. Now, today we're going to talk about your breath. Breathing is one of the biggest tools to learning how to retrain your mental and your physical habits. Because one, it calms your mind, your breath and your mind are connected, and by doing deep belly breathing and other types of techniques, but today we're going to just talk about deep belly breathing, you, you can calm your mind. So think about people who hyperventilate, what do they usually have them do? Breathe into a bag, because your, your breath and your mind are connected. So if you deep belly breathe, you know, whenever you're reacting or you're upset, you're starting to change the habit from just 
you know, following through on that reaction to, oh, let me be calm. Let me deep belly breathe. Just focus in. Close your eyes and, and take, take that deep breath and expands the belly and then exhale and just letting it relax. Okay? The other thing you get with that breathing, that deep belly breathing, is uh, your awareness begins to um, rise up. You know, awareness helps you to see when you're reacting, when your buttons are you know, being pushed, when you have triggers, and that awareness can help you retrain your mind. So do that deep belly breathing. Whenever you're upset, uh, whenever you feel yourself getting you know, anxious or stressed, it, it's one of the first things you can do to retraining those mental habits. And then the third one is God. And, and it's not just God, it's experiencing God. Experiencing that love and joy and that peace and calmness. Um, you know, it's, it's one of the best things you can do to um, awaken the love for yourself is when you can experience the love of God. And how do you start doing that? Yoga. And that's what SatiLivingCenter.com. I have everything from teaching you how to meditate to um, yoga posture classes to sadhana classes where I combine uh, meditation, posture, some devotional chanting so that you can have that experience and get, get that experience of calmness, of peace, of love, of joy. Um, you you want to learn how to you know, actually do focus on your health and healing when you want to love yourself because there's things to heal from when you don't love yourself. So those are the three keys that I find the best way you can do it is, is through yoga, um, God, yoga, uh, God is yoga, but yoga, God, and healing helps you love yourself. So if you'd like to give SatiLivingCenter.com a try, you can go to SatiLivingCenter.com. You can see the URL coming across the bottom here. Um, and for one month, you can give a go of all the classes for just $1. And if you like it, what will happen on the, you know, like if you sign up on, you know, on whatever month you sign up on, with, on the 20th, then the next month, on the 20th, it'll renew, and at that time it will cost you $20. But for $20, you get the whole, you know, service 24-7. You can do it whenever it's convenient for you. And you get the privacy of doing the yoga classes in your own home so you can heal whatever those stuck emotions are that are preventing you from, from being able to love yourself. Hope to see you again. Thanks for tuning in.